They left for a brighter future in football, and soon after, they were drunk DMing their exes in the middle of the night. We've all been there. These are the players who left their clubs only to regret it afterwards. Fernando Torres Liverpool have had their heart broken and stepped on more than once. Their love story with Fernando Torres was one for the books. But it ended with betrayal when Nando made the switch to Chelsea. It would be the kid who'd regret it in the end. Torres went from being one of the deadliest strikers in the world to a running joke. One of the regrets I have is the way I left the club. I'm really proud to say I will support Liverpool forever. It doesn't matter what happened. Emotions aside, Torres's career broke down due to him rushing his comeback after a serious injury just to be able to play in Spain's World Cup winning squad in 2010. Neymar Jr. Neymar is on, on the press because it seems that a lot of clubs are interested in him, but he's not on the market. Until he totally was. First, Barca were afraid. They were petrified. Kept thinking they could never live without Ney by their side. Well, they weren't exactly wrong. But it was Ney who regretted breaking PK's heart. Neymar regrets leaving Barca. You should ask him, but I think he saw his mistake soon after leaving. His golden cage made of money, a ton of money, wasn't enough to make him forget about his old pals and their European adventures. The mejor recuerdo que tengo un vestuario de fútbol cuando ganamos de 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 París ahí en en Barcelona. Neymar has tried to get back to Barcelona since the day he left, but hasn't had any luck. He seems to be over them, though. He even looks happy to be in Paris. Nowadays, it seems more likely that Messi will join him in Paris than him returning. Coutinho. Coutinho was the man at Anfield, yet thought he could do better. So he took off to the Camp No to fill Neymar's slot. Agradecer, claro, a Liverpool por los cinco años que yo pasé ahí. A los dirigentes de Mike Gordon que, que entendió bien lo que yo quería, que era mi sueño. Eh, ellos, puedo decir que intentaron mucho que yo me quedara, pero. So he, can, he cannot play for, for Liverpool in this moment, and that's, um, everybody can imagine, that's quite a blow for us. Things never clicked for him there. Liverpool, on the other hand, were like, thank you, next. Klopp's side got even better without him. Coutinho has been loaned out ever since, even trashing Barcelona at Bayern Munich. But now he's back, and Barca aren't playing him due to the outstanding payments to Liverpool in case he meets certain playing records. Crabby River. Paul Pogba. Pogba's relationship with Manchester United is toxic at best. Sir Alex Ferguson was in love with his homegrown talent, but not the people he mingled with. Paul Pogba, he just had a bad agent, a shit bag. SAF is talking about super agent Mino Raiola. He and I were like oil and water. From then on, our goose was cooked because Raiola had been able to ingratiate himself with Paul and his family, and the player signed with Juventus. Once at Juve, Pogba became a hit. Such a hit, in fact, he went back to his ex for a world record fee. Sure, they had their ups, but now it's back to their downs. I would say the, the season was not that bad. Pogba regretted leaving United, now regrets being at Old Trafford. Cesc Fabregas. Similar to Pogba, Cesc was adored at his parent club, Barcelona, but opted to take his football to Arsenal, where he became a legend. Until Barcelona became the greatest team in the world, and Cesc was like, I miss you, boo. Mi sueño de pequeño de triunfar en el Barcelona es muy, muy grande y esto no, no lo va a cambiar nadie. Now at Barcelona, Cesc was finally the happiest, that nah, not really. Things had changed at the Camp Nou since his youth days. There was no room for him. But for Wenger and Arsenal fans, Cesc became somebody that they used to know. No he hid nada. Absolutely. 
Malo y... Riquelme and Palermo. Juan Román Riquelme and Martin Palermo are two of Boca Juniors' most legendary players. Their greatest feat was defeating Figo and Raúl's Real Madrid in the 2000 Intercontinental Cup. Palermo scored a brace in the first six minutes of the match. You heard that right. So the incredible number 10 left for Barcelona, and the deadly striker packed up his goals and went to Villarreal. Roman was misused by Van Gaal at the Camp Nou, while Palermo suffered injury after injury, even having a full stand collapse on top of him. Eventually, they both made it back to Boca. El último tramo de mi carrera, espero hacerlo de la mejor manera, me voy a preparar bien. Tengo la ilusión de seguir dando la alegría a la gente. Ojalá que le pueda regalar un título más en este año y medio que que tengo con el club. They won everything at Boca again. They never should have left. Antoine Griezmann the Frenchman became an icon at Madrid's red and white team. Then they made an hour-long documentary teasing he was going to Barcelona. Then didn't. Then did? Griezmann made the mistake of going from the best Atletico de Madrid to the worst FC Barcelona. Could Cholo take him back? Creer en el amor. Sorry, Grizzly. Looks like they found someone like you. In football as in love, sometimes you go after what you want when you already have what you need. It's like a philosopher once said, don't go chasing waterfalls. Please stick to the rivers and the lakes that you're used to. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave us a like and please subscribe to the channel. Now, the voice is yours. Give us your ideas for new videos in the comments.